Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaras, and welcome back to the Battle for Wesnoth. Today, we are going to be continuing our campaign, Descent into Darkness, moving on to the fifth scenario. We had a pretty dodgy fourth scenario here as we tried to trek our way through the mountain pass past these uh, bands of orcs that were harrying us on our journey. We were lured into a false sense of security as Green originally started by only recruiting about two troops, but quickly captured a whole bunch of villages and started to swarm us. Malin uh, Kesher was on the verge of death, uh, but we managed to pull back. We got a few level ups. We have an archer almost leveled. We got a wraith. We got a, sh uh, a knight gaunt, level three. We have a revenant. We already have another revenant to recall, and we, we did lose one wraith, but we managed to level up a different one into a wraith. So we are doing pretty decently. And let's move on to the next scenario. So let's overwrite the replay, and here we go. The cycle of the seasons churns, and summer and fall roll around once more. Malin's thoughts turn back to Parthen frequently, where a year prior he had still been among family and friends in the rustic little town that he still thinks of as his home. He has since become a forsaken wanderer, he thinks, but the still burning image of his father being cut down amidst the ruins of his home is imprinted at the forefront of his mind. Companionship and peace. Perhaps they are but a farce, and certainly an impossibility with the threat of the Orcish clan still looming. Perhaps there is no point in reminiscing on his once peaceful, pastoral life. He has never been one for regrets. Malin turns his attention to the task at hand. Dark and Volk leads him through the heart of the White Fang territory, where they terrorize and murder entire camps of orcs with their undead minions. Word spreads among the orcish towns, which begin to post more guards and dispatch frequent patrols to exterminate the two necromancers. All of their attempts fail. Word spreads to the south as well when the ever-present raids are suddenly absent this year. The people at the frontier towns go about their days, gossiping about rumors of the undead, some with disgust, some with intrigue. When winter passes and spring comes again, a number of dark adepts travel northward and join the pair of necromancers. They can be quite useful, Dark and Volk says to Malin, but none of them have a tenth of your potential power. Malin and Dark and Volk continue their raids on the orcs and eventually force the usually fractious White Fang, chief, usually fractious White Fang chieftains to unite in opposition. The orcs pursued the two necromancers east toward the mount of the river men call the Longlie, and elves call the Arkanthoria, where they manage to surround the humans and force a fight. The scenario is called Orc War. You can see we've made a big trek up here, um, all the way up, way to the north, and we're now on the banks of the Arkanthoria. Even before the very founding of Wesnoth, you have hounded my people at every turn. You have trampled our fields, slaughtered our livestock, and burned our houses. You have brought war to a place of peace, and death to a place of life. You are nothing but remorseless killers and savage beasts. Your kind deserves no mercy, and shall receive none. I will crush you into the dust, and make you into my slaves for all eternity. You, the silly necromancer, is trying to talk us to death. Puny human, you have caused us enough trouble. It is time for you to die. Um, unless you are already dead, like the skeletons. Then it will be time for you to die again. Alright, so we need to kill all three of the orcish leaders. I have tried the scenario once before, and one of the things I have tried is basically to just kind of hole up here, try and get some defensive posts on this river, and fight the war here at the same time. And what I've found is that fighting on two fronts is incredibly difficult. And because green, like green, is basically going to be the same as they were last round. They have these five villages that they start with. They're going to start by spawning a few troops. But then they're going to come here. They're going to capture that, 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 that. And they're going to get a massive income and just start flooring us with recruits. So as far as I'm concerned, we have two options. We either rush west and just destroy this leader, just kill him outright. And then we like, so we focus like one at a time, or we rush east and do the same. Now the only difficulty with rushing east is we don't really have like a super good way to cross here. Um, I guess perhaps we could cross this, uh, this river right here and get some units onto the land. And if we have ghosts, I mean river's not a huge deal for ghosts. My only concern with rushing a leader 
is that if we, um, well, my only concern with rushing a leader right away is that it leaves any other surrounding villages basically open for the taking for the other orcish, um, the, basically the other orcs, which is a little worrisome. So let's analyze our options. We can either go west or east at the start. If we go west, right, we'll, we'll basically abandon this post because we can't really hold back all of them. We'll basically just send everyone to the west to take out this guy. Um, that'll leave most of these villages free for purple. Now, if we go right and go this way, then that'll mean... Um, we lose these villages to blue, and then green also comes up, and they get a big force. My concern with going to the east is that fighting our way back west may be a little difficult because of this river. So I think what we're going to try is we're going to try going west. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull Dark and Bulk up here, turn one, to capture that. Malin can't reach any other place to capture. Um, I, yeah, so we're going to rush west. So we're going to want to get some pretty strong units on the field pretty quickly. Um, in order to rush west, we're going to need some very high-level units. So we're going to recruit the two ghosts we had. We're going to recruit a, Rev a Revenant. And what I do want to do is I want to recruit a Dark Adept because I want to start leveling a Dark Adept up. We have Resilient and Quick, pretty good traits. I'm not hugely concerned about having a trait like Intelligent. Um, because, yeah, this guy's spawning some level 2s. This guy's also spawning some level 2s. This guy's mostly spawning level 1s, I think. Yeah, I'm not hugely concerned about having a trait like Intelligent. Um, just because there's probably going to be lots of XP to go around. Alright, so we got to start moving. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this knight's going to come up actually pretty quick. I'm going to pull Dark and Volk up to here. I want to start getting these villages captured. Going to pull our ghosts up, get our Revenant over. And we're going to want to start just recruiting more units. So we're going to get our Revenant. We're going to get our other... Um, sorry, our other skeleton, who is close to leveling. And let's see. So what we could do is get, like, a bat to come and fly around and try and capture some stuff. Maybe we'll do that. We'll get a bat that's going to fly down to the south. Uh, let's see. Uh, he is super far range. Well, we're not going to get him to move just yet, because I need to see where this guy goes, if he's going to come up. Yeah, he can't quite attack us. He's got a range of 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He can only reach really up to here. Can't attack Dark and Volk. It would actually be kind of nice if he could attack Dark and Volk. But alas. I think I'm going to recruit another skeleton. We're going to do one more round of recruitment, and then we're going to send our leader out with the troops. As I said, we can't really hold this bank. Uh, maybe, maybe, actually, maybe we might be able to. Blue's just recruiting one more unit. The problem is if green gets down here fast enough, they're going to have, a, like, too big of a stream of units. Which we will not be able to hold off. Yeah, purple's on their way. Okay. So now is when we're going to meet the enemy charge. So what we really want to be careful of is we really want to make sure... Um, that, like, we don't have things like our ghosts just being left in the open, ready to get slaughtered by, um, by, like, their ranger who has fire, right? Because that's a problem. Let's see, where's the bat gonna go? He can go over here. He cannot reach the bat. Yes, yeah, so we can pull bat to here. Bat can't be reached. Alright. So, we want to get this guy out of here. We want to get him to push forward. He will do a ton of damage with his fire attack to any skeletons that we pull out. Dark and Wolves can need to retreat. I'm contemplating whether I want to have a ghost, like, soak the attacks. Because if this ghost, for example, takes both hits of the fire, um, then he'll, you know, he'll get down to 15. Uh, he could actually just be a right kill because he doesn't have any healing attacks. This guy can only reach to here. He can reach to here, though. Yeah, so if this guy, like, charges us, he can only hit one of us, actually, so maybe we'll do that. And can anyone reach up here? Yes, they can. This guy can, too. I can't really safely capture that, because these guys could just come up and focus whatever ghosts go for it. 
Uh, I think we'll just pull this ghost back, actually. Ooh, wow, he can, yeah, he can reach very far. We'll pull him back. If he, I mean, if he comes, if he comes this deep, he's screwed, right? It's no really question about it. We'll pull this guy up here. And we'll get the archer. He's not going to attack the archer, I don't think. These guys are coming to push in. We need some more units on the field. So, I have a lot of skeletons. We have a few ghosts. I mean, if we can get another ghost starting to level, that would be ideal. Uh, maybe I'll have, like, a unit here to harry these guys on their way over. We'll put, like... Yeah, he's recruiting a lot of archers. We're actually going to undo that. Which is a problem for us. So maybe we'll recruit a skeleton archer who's going to man the banks right there. Maybe a skeleton... Maybe a ghoul, too, for some poison. Because that'll harry them on their way over. And then we'll get another unit for this flank. This guy, he's going to be vulnerable to ranged. So I'm going to get another dark adept, I think. Yeah. So now, here's the goal. The goal is... Actually, how far can this guy reach? I want to make sure this guy's in position to get some good hits in. Yeah, his, so he his movement is one basically everywhere, except for water. Yeah, water. So he can one over the mountain, so this position's actually fine for him. So what we want to do is this guy comes in, makes himself vulnerable, and then we just surround him and destroy him. And that bat's doing okay. Alright. So we can't really get any more recruits. So we're going to bring Malin out. I'm just going to get him to start moving. Uh, actually, we can pull him a little closer. Because if this guy attacks Malin, he's just going to take a hell of a bunch of... He's going to take a ton of retaliatory damage. Oh, he's going to go up and capture a village. Dang. I was hoping he would not do that. Alright. Yeah, and then purple's gonna start the push. Uh, no, not anymore. He can't go up there anymore. We're just gonna 7-3. Good. Okay, we gotta figure out what's going on up here. We basically got to collapse on these troops down here while they're vulnerable. So I think we're going to get Malin... Oh, yeah, he's a level 2, so he's going to have quite a bit more health. Uh, let's see. Now, the thing is, by pulling Dark and Volk up, it's not necessarily super bad, because these guys are all ranged. So if they attack Volk, they're going to get... Uh, they're going to take a lot of damage. 7, 4, 6, 3... Alright, this guy can go here, Malin can go here, the only one who can get up here is our ghost. Alright, now this guy is invisible at night, so he can actually just kind of sneak around. And get ready for a big hit. So I may actually just be able to pull him, like right here. And he's got no new recruits, so no one's really going to walk here, and he's going to get ready to just assassinate someone. So now, this is the question. What we're doing with these guys. I think we have to, yeah, we just got to start hammering. We're going to go 19-2 here. Alright, misses one, not the end of the world. Misses one as well, okay. I would like this Dark Adept to get the kill. Maybe what we'll go is we'll go 7-4 here. Nice. Alright, that's not awful. He may actually be in a little bit of danger. But we are going to get the kill here. Nice. And then Revenant comes in. He goes 13-4. Okay, he's not going to secure the kill. But he's going to do a lot of damage. Now this guy, slight problem. We don't want to get in the way of him with any skeletons, because he's just going to tear them apart. This guy is only in danger of this archer. If this archer hits two hits, he's down. That's a little bit of a little bit troubling. I'm going to put this ghost up here. I'm going to move this guy out to here. 
The troll can come in and attack him, but he'll just get surrounded and killed. These guys will just be our harrying force and our bats. Let's not forget the bat. If the bat captures this village, he might go for the bat. He could two-hit kill the bat, which is not ideal. Well, yeah. We might just have to move the bat out to sea here and wait to see where this guy moves and we can swoop into wherever he isn't. All right, blue's coming in. Yeah, okay, he's going to go for that ghost. That's a very good vulnerable position for him. Yeah, the troll's going to do that as expected. And now they're kind of falling into the trap. He's going to go for that, which is also as expected. He gets two dodges. That's big. Oh, wow. Whoa! 70% dodge chance? He just hit all three? That is insane. But that's really good for us. That's a little bit more of a problem. He's going to go in with a fire attack. He's going to take some retaliatory damage. But yeah, they're going to have a hard time holding. He's definitely going to have a hard time holding. But this is good for us. So we can actually come in with a monstrous backstab. But I don't know if I quite want to do that. I think I want to do the 20 here. Actually. Um, because this guy's level 2, which means I really would like to donate a kill. Let's just bring this guy in 10-4. If he gets the kill, he gets the kill. He doesn't. 7-3, yeah, we'll go for that. That'll level our guy up. Uh, never mind. Uh, so much for the level. Which means we're giving that kill to whom? I want my, I might want to use this guy on this guy to weaken him. Uh, let's give the kill to the ghost, maybe. Ghost can do better than this guy, hopefully. No, he can't. Gosh dang it. Alright. Alright. So we're going to pull this guy around. He's not backstabbing anymore. We need to put someone on the other side here. Um, he's got 37. This guy's 7-4, so he'll be able to do a decent chunk. This guy needs to die. Who's going to get the kill is a good question. Not sure quite yet. Alright. Who... Is probably not going to get a good, good attack in. Because I could do that and maybe kill this guy too. Like, Yeah, because we could just kill this guy. I don't think I want to waste a turn just literally moving someone here. Now, this guy's on 60% defense. I mean, at 20 to 3. I think I do just want to actually just put someone here. Uh, whatever, we'll do a 12-2. And then this guy's going to come in for a monstrous backstab and just instantly kill. Good. We can get uh, Volk and Kesher up here for some big hits. I don't even care that they can't get the XP. They just need to die. Dang it. One away. One away. What a shame. Alright. 10-4. If he gets the kill, he gets the kill. Otherwise, I'll feed it to a ghost. He gets the kill. Nice. Okay. I think I'm going to feed this. There we go. Alright. A little bit of an issue here. We're going to put him in front because he's uh, less important. I don't want this guy to die, but I don't think he can actually die. I think he'll do 10-2 at night like that guy over there did. Actually, this guy is going to die. There we go. I was a confident is. Like, I was expecting him to die. But we have a very solid push coming into the west here. We're going to start removing some of Green's income. It's going to be good, and it's also going to take us out of the negatives. Alright, very solid western push. Ooh, the Lord's out. We can execute him this turn. Um, that was a big mistake. He's going to go in for that. She's going to take some damage, not the end of the world. Yeah, there's the two hits, as expected. The bleed here... This guy normally poisons, right? But he does not poison because... Oh, 60% chance to defend, and it's basically getting destroyed. Dang. Alright, yeah, so purple's gonna come in behind us. We can't really meet that charge right now. This guy just has to die this turn. If idea, well, he doesn't have to die, but that would be ideal. Okay. So let's figure out what's going on here. He's got six movement points, so I don't think they can actually get to him. Which means basically what we're going to be doing is using these guys to clear the path. 
All right. All right, seven two. We'll just do that. I didn't really need to use the shadow one, but whatever. All right, so he's got nine three. It's a lot. That's a lot of damage. A 10-2. We have the backstab ready. Yeah, we just need to go gun ho here. 6-3. I'd like to get the kill with the skeleton. I know it'll it'll basically overlevel him, but... Yeah, let's go in here. Good hits, good hits. Okay. Or maybe actually this guy. Now we go for the backstab. 23. Oof. Okay, he missed a lot there. That's a shame. Let's go 8-4. He does do 9-3, but... Wow, he missed a lot of shots. That's not good. 6-4. And then maybe Skeleton to finish. Ooh. Ah, he missed a lot too. Alright, 6-3. Where can this guy go? He can't, He's actually stuck. He can't really get anywhere. Now, what I need to be careful of is I need to make sure she doesn't die. Alright, so 6 to 3. It's unlikely he'll actually get the... Wow, he missed everything. A bit of an unlucky turn for us. Okay. These guys can't get to us yet. This guy's just gonna die next turn. I'm just hoping they can't kill this guy. I don't think they'll be able to. 7 to 2 impact against a ghost, not much. And this guy, if he goes in for the ghost, he's just dead. Pierce isn't going to do anything. Alright, let's just go on this guy. Wow, that was some heavy damage. And if we can kill him, that'll mean this guy's not at risk either, because this guy's not really going to do any damage to him. Now, this is a slight issue for the bat, anyways. We actually kind of want this guy to make his way up. We don't want him to be distracted by the bat, because if this guy comes up here then that means we can just kill him faster. If he gets stuck, uh, like, dilly-dallying down here, um, then that means both of these guys are here, which is a bit of a problem. Now that we've captured this, we're going to go back out into the water and wait to see where this guy goes. All right, not really anything else we can do. Yeah, he's just going to move. He's going to go for the skeleton, actually. Skeleton just levels. Oh, he, okay, he is going to go for the ghost, but it doesn't matter. And this guy is basically just dead too. Now he, oh, interesting. And we'll just capture all those villages behind him. Yeah, purple's going to come in here. Purple's going to start making mad money. Which is a bit of a shame, but we may be able to counterattack before they can make the most out of their money. So, I would actually like the ghost to get this kill if possible. So what is not going to kill him? A 5-2 is not going to kill him. Yeah. Or, actually, could she get the kill? She'd just level if she got the kill. Maybe we'll do that instead. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Of course not. Of course. You know, why would you be able to get the kill? Alright, so never We got a decent amount of XP on that. That's good. Let's just, just start tearing him up. 60% defense, and we are showing him who's boss here. Wrecked. Okay. Nice. He's close to leveling. This guy's a bit of a problem. Because he could come up here and, like, try and kill this guy. But now... Alright, 11-2. Do some mad damage here. 10-2. I don't care if I kill him. Alright, we just need to start getting some of these villages here, making some money back. We're going to put this guy here. Because that way, if he goes, he's trading shots with this guy. Now, this guy made a mistake. So now we're going to come in here, and we're going to take all these villages. I'm thinking I might try and counterattack here, as I either just push straight south, which is kind of what I want to do, and the, but these guys will be harrying us the whole way. We could mount a pretty decent counterattack. Uh, but they have quite a few units, so we need them to be kind of isolated. So if I put this guy here, he's going to be attacked by this archer. 
which will mean this guy loses health for nothing, which I don't think is what I want. I think I'll just let him sit here so he can heal at least 2 HP from rest. And then the bats down here being annoying. All right, good. Yeah, he's just going to go and recapture that. That's a bit annoying. Green's coming up here. Yeah, there he goes. Going to trade some shots. Good. Just what I wanted. Some good counterattack damage. Purples now has quite a bit of income. They're going to start pushing. Can we meet the charge? I don't think we want to meet it just yet. All right. Capture all these villages, please. Well, we may have to meet the charge. Now, if she gets this kill, she just levels. That's really good for us. So let's go in with a 6-4. Okay, uh, never mind. Maybe this guy with the 6-4. Wow, okay, uh, the 5-3. If this guy kills, that's fine. Because he's going to level anyways. Wow, the misses are unreal today. Holy cow. That's actually bad. I think we just need to get our ghost the kill now. Because if this girl misses, we're in trouble. So yeah. That is a heck of a lot of misses. Wow. Alright, well he's close to leveling, which is going to be really good for us. him here, put her here. Now, the rest of these guys can't really make a lot of contact, which is good. We're going to pull back, make a defensive line here, dark and bolt here. Yeah, and they go for him, that's fine. We can wrap around, do some damage maybe. Bat, I already moved. This guy though, we're going to need to get him in position him down here. This guy literally only needs one attack, and he levels. So that's good. Okay, this guy's now... Oh, right. I didn't realize he could get the bat, but that's fine. That means less of an attack up here. Now, what is purple doing? They're gonna... Re yeah, they're gonna start being able to recruit a lot of units. He's just gonna suicide charge the archer. Another suicide charge. We can definitely counterattack this. Purple's getting a lot of villages, but I think we can strike back here. They're basically just marching all their troops into Death's Valley. It's nighttime. The ideal here is actually we can pull this guy in and just destroy this guy with a monstrous backstab. So let us try said backstab. So he has 10 to 3 right now. But if I put him here and put this wraith here, he goes in for 20 to 3. Ideally, he doesn't kill. Yes, perfect. This guy kills, he levels up into a specter, which is amazing, and now we just tear these guys to shreds. So this guy comes up here, he does a 7 to 3, and then he levels. Yep. Alright, fine. Another revenant. Good. This revenant... Uh, I gotta be careful about this guy, because if I put him here, I'm in a little bit of trouble. So this revenant's gonna come here, 8 4. Yep. Alright, he doesn't quite get the kill. It's not the end of the world. Now this guy, I'm going to put pressure on with um, Dark and Bolt. Get a 13-2. Alright, he misses. Okay. Bring this Dark Adept back. This guy can't actually reach anywhere, so we'll just let him get the kill. Actually, never mind. He can reach somewhere. Not as ideal. Problem, I'm worried these two are just going to mob someone, and that someone is just going to die. Fifteen to two. If he hits both, this guy's at eighteen, which isn't even enough to kill him. He could come in and try and kill this guy. There's the chance one of these guys just dies. I think I might just have to take that chance to secure these kills here. So I think what we're going to do is we go Volk up here. Not Bull, Kamal and Kesher. We go 8 3. Okay, we just kill him outright. We go 10 2. Hopefully, get the kill. Nice. That puts her one kill away from leveling. 
This guy's probably not in any trouble. We just wiped out the majority of their force. We can now mount a forceful push back to the east. We'll bring our bat down south to capture another village away from green. Yeah, because I think we want to just clear out these villages. Um, he's only recruiting really level ones now, and we have a huge force. All right, it's end the turn. Yeah, so they're going to try and solo this guy. Okay, he only hit once which means they cannot kill. That's really good for us. He's just going to keep chasing us. Bat healing. Oh, he gets hit three times. Dang, that sucks. He's going to come in for the archer. This dude's going to do nothing. All right, it's time to mount the full counter charge. We need to take all these villages back before purple has a chance to fully recruit. Okay, he needs to fall back. Like, right now. Now this guy... Let's just do an 11-4. Boom. Boom. The attack animation for this guy is sick. Alright, 12. So we need to do minimal damage to him. What could do minimal damage? A skeleton Dagger? Oh, that would actually kill him if he hits twice. So if we attack, what's the damage calculation? A higher chance he dies. So... Well, she doesn't need this kill in particular, so let's see if this guy gets the kill. If he gets the kill, he gets the kill. He misses, actually. Ooh, okay. Then we can come in here, and hopefully... No. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Dark Sorcerer. We are laughing. Alright, that goes there. Now, Dark Volk is going to come up here to kill this guy. Or at least, severely damage him, and he just dies. Excellent. This guy... He's going to come up here to capture that. This guy's going to go Malakeshur, 19-2. Beautiful amount of damage. We're going to finish the kill with him. Never mind, we're not going to finish the kill with him. Okay. Uh, now, do I leave him here or do I leave him here? The only person he can kill is if he goes here and kills him. Which I don't really want. This guy can't actually kill anyone. Because he'll get this guy really close to dying. I think he's minus 20% to impact yeah so this guy will do like 12 2 and he'll get this guy on death's door but he won't kill him so I think we just come down here uh, actually if he does not kill he's in big trouble maybe we'll just let the adept die move this guy up here to heal the adept dies the adept dies not the end of the world we got our dark sorcerer so I'm happy with that Yeah, he went for the Adept, as expected. Adept dies. A shame. This guy's gonna start capturing more villages. Yeah, he goes up here, as expected. He does not really get anything done. These guys are all... Yeah, I think we just gotta push back east here. Because even though, like... I just don't want to leave this massive amount of villages here. Alright. So, this Spectre. Well, he can't move far because this dude's in his way. And we just want to execute this dude. And they keep spawning just archers, archers, archers. Which I'm not a fan of. It makes sense against the undead, don't get me wrong. I just don't like it. So we're just going to come down here and try and kill him. Alright, did not manage to quite kill him. Let's bring this guy in here, Spectre, to finish him off. Boom, big kill. Alright, 16-2, instant kill, dead, nice, awesome, like it, love it, gotta have it. Alright, this guy comes here to finish this kill. Yes, he does. Thank you. Okay. Dark and Volk. Uh, Alright, I'll go catch her first. 19-2. Uh, now Dark Volk. Boom, big kill. Put this guy here. He will probably not get the kill, but this guy will likely get the kill. If he doesn't, then this guy gets the kill. And that guy's not really going to do anything to our Night Knot. Okay.
All right, yeah, the sweep back east is coming. Let us move. Uh, we're going to pull this guy forward, actually. As much as I want to keep him healing, I want to get him capturing a village and then also just healing on that village closer to the front lines. I think we might just leave a few guys down here to hold these guys off at the bridge since his recruitment is pretty slow. Then push back east, get a whole bunch of income, make sure purple doesn't take advantage of all of these villages. The only problem I'm thinking of is that if we... Like, I don't really want to split our forces. We may just have to commit everyone to the south. I'm feeling like that's what we might have to do. Either everyone to the south or everyone to the east. We're going to lose a whole bunch of villages either way. Because trying to do a two-pronged assault is how I lost the first time I tried this battle. Alright, while I make that decision, it's already been above half an hour, so I'm going to leave this episode here. And on next episode, we will continue this Orc War, and I will have made up my mind on what our plan is going to be to beat the rest of these Orcs. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.